welcome back guys. I'm out here on this lake and I'm actually gonna be staying out here overnight in that tent over there. Uh, that's my ice tent. Uh, I got a couple traps set. This is one of my toe ones. I have two toe traps and three salmon traps. So yeah, I'm gonna spend the night. Tomorrow is going to be Saturday and it's, we're gonna get upwards of at least 14 inches of snow uh, tomorrow afternoon onto Sunday. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna stay out here for that. And it's also gonna be really windy, but I'm gonna stay out here as long as possible, weather permitting. But uh, yeah, I got five traps set. I have a friend that might be coming by tonight. I'm not exactly sure, but so far it's just me. I just got back with my second load. I have a small jet sled, but I managed to strap all that stuff on. It's got all my sleeping arrangement stuff. Uh, yeah, and then my four-wheeler. Uh, and so we're going to go over to my tent and get finished setting up everything else. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Come on inside. I'll show you my tent. Oh, you're already in here. I see you found it. Well, this is my tent. This is where I'm staying for the week. I got my bed over here. Uh, I got double sleeping bags. I got my my cot under that and then a whole bunch of storage stuff. I got a, a chair and that's a carbon di dioxide or monoxide detector. It's really annoying. I got some extra foam pads. I got my cooking stuff, my food, my burner, a uh, little table. Uh, I got this foam mat. This All this stuff clicks together and then I have this on a tarp. And then I have, this is just a strip of bare ice over here, but it should be fine. And then I got my heater. I have that on low and it's already pretty hot in here. Then I got that on a milk crate. And that I have hooked to this, uh, this hose that goes right underneath, right there. And goes out to my uh, propane tank. And then I got an extra one there too. And then I got my traps. I'll obviously put those there to thaw uh, tonight after I'm done fishing. See the outside now. Obviously, this is the front door right here. So this thing I have on top, my tent actually isn't insulated, but it holds heat pretty well. But this is called a concrete blanket. My dad got it from his work. And basically, it's like a blanket of insulation. And so what I did is just threw that over that and then just had these cords hold it down. And then... It's really long, so I got it draping over the side, and it will keep this wall in the on in the roof warm all night, so that it won't sweat or anything, and then won't frost because I'm gonna be sleeping on this wall. And this thing makes a huge difference, and no no heat whatsoever will leak out through the top, and it's just it's just a great idea that my dad came up with. But anyway, I got all the sides banked with snow, uh, and then when we come over here got my propane tanks and the other side I got everything I got everything screwed down because it's supposed to be really windy tomorrow this is an island here though but uh, so the wind is gonna kind of go over it but I thought I might as well screw it down uh, and then I got my four-wheeler right here and then I got my first trap right there I got one out there I don't know if you can see it by my bait container and I, I got the rest of them out there, so in one's over there. It's really hard to see with the camera, but I got five traps in all, two toe traps, and three salmon. So hopefully we get something. Oh, and over here I got my my ice auger and then the buddy heater box. And then I hung up some extension, uh, you know, bungee cords because I don't want to have to be looking through them through the snow. So. Yeah, I got everything set up here. It's a pretty good setup, I think. It's really warm and toasty. I'm going to I'm going to try to stay out here two nights instead of one. But yeah, if my friend comes tonight, we'll uh put his put his uh bed right here and then we'll just kind of condense on stuff and make it work. Me and my dad have both slept in here before. So we're def we'll definitely have enough room, but it's pretty cozy and warm in here. It's quite hot. <laughs> I still have the door open too. Then I got both my vents open. I'm going to probably get a little snack to eat and then uh, go check my traps. I'll probably check my traps first. So uh, hopefully we'll have something on the line. So stay tuned.
Okay, so I just made myself some hot chocolate. It's been a it's been a little bit and we haven't got any flags yet, so I'm gonna go out and check and why this is cooling off is really hot. So yeah, I'm gonna go check to see if we have any flags. Hopefully we'll get a fish before the day ends. It's about it is 3.53, so it's only 4 o'clock, so we got an, a good 45 minutes left of prime time. So hopefully we'll get a fish in a little bit. Well, that was my dad. He was just stopping by for a little bit. Uh, oh, there's someone in a snowmobile over there. I think this... Oh, there's two people over there. One of those people was over there earlier, and the snow slow was so quiet I couldn't even hear it. But in it, anyways, that has nothing to do with what I was saying. There's also some people over there. But anyway, uh, I am headed up to the house to get to do a few things before it gets too dark and to uh, get some things that I forgot. So I'm going to check the traps one more time uh, before I pick them up, and hopefully we'll get something. So if not, I'll come back here and then it will be dark and uh, I'll probably leave some out overnight and for a couple hours and just check them overnight. But yeah, that's what's going on so far. There he goes. Well, I don't know how good the lighting is in here, but we are all alone. It is about uh, close to 9 o'clock, 8.45ish. 8 uh, I'm kind of getting ready for, to go to bed. I'm just going to edit some videos. I uh, we That was my dad that, that just left a little bit ago. We uh, picked up the traps and everything. We did not get one flag tonight, which is surprising. I had two toe traps out and, uh, and three salmon traps. And, and we didn't get anything but uh that's basically it tomorrow is going to be like the worst snowstorm of the year so i'm only fishing till like nine o'clock and then it's going to be 40 40 mile an hour gusts and snowing up to three inches an hour uh so it's going to be pretty bad but so i'm going to edit some videos and go to bed here in a little bit and uh i'll catch back up with you in the morning and i'm going to get out really early and set some traps out so I will see you then. Welcome back guys. Uh, it's the morning obviously. I didn't set any traps out because it was so cold and windy out. You could probably hear the wind right now. I, I got the aerator going but uh yeah so I, I ended up not sleeping good at all last night because it was so windy and I woke up at four o'clock because the that tarp thing that we had over the over the shack blew off so I ended up having to go out and take it off and take care of that so I don't have that anymore and then after four o'clock I went to bed and I slept good only until like eight eight though and it's like eight now so yeah that's pretty much it so we're not gonna set any traps today we're just gonna eat our soup that we're cooking right now and head off the lake so I'll video some of that but yeah that's what we're doing right now it's like 8 eight thirty ish and it's about five degrees or so so Well guys, I'm headed out. I got everything packed up, pretty much. I'm leaving uh, my tent and everything set up and I'm gonna be out here before the storm ends anyway. But, so I'm just bringing the stuff I, I need to bring back with me. But, uh, I wanna thank you for watching this video. I know we didn't do much fishing, but it it's so much more windy than it looks right now. And you can't even see the other side of the lake hardly. 
But anyway, uh, I'm definitely going to do more overnights like this. So if you want to hit that subscribe button to watch some cool videos like that. And I guess I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.